chiral alleles. Okay, this is a very basic example of allele wherein you will find that the terminal carbon is having the identical atoms present. Both of them are hydrogens, right? So when you talk about chiral alleles, no doubt it will be rendered chiral provided as far as the our basic concepts are, uh, you know, are considered then in that case, it should have a chiral carbon and it should not have center of symmetry. It should not have plane of symmetry, right? But looking at the structure, even if you replace these two hydrogens with two different uh, substituents, then still you will find that there is no chiral carbon which is there in this particular structure, right? Then the definitely the question is what makes this particular allene as chiral? So answer is again same as that of your biphenyls, which is devoid of chiral carbon, but still rendered to be, uh, which is devoid of chiral carbon, but rendered to be a chiral molecule as a whole. The same is the answer for alenes that these molecules are chiral because of their chiral axis. Okay, it is because of their chiral axis. So when we are considering the chiral axis, definitely that axis which is passing through this particular system, okay, this axis which probably, uh, which we are referring to. And yes, another condition that it should satisfy is it should not have plane of symmetry. It should not have center of symmetry. And this particular plane of symmetry, absence of plane of symmetry and absence of center of symmetry is very much feasible with the alkene. Alenes is because this too, though this particular molecule seems to be a planar, when you are observing it in 2D image, in actual, this molecule is not so in that particular way. So let me just rewrite it a little bigger picture, wherein let's say you have these two hydrogens. And when uh, I'm considering on this side is definitely one hydrogen with the backside orientation and the other hydrogen with your <coughs> other hydrogen is with your solid or a wedge shape, uh, you know, uh, orientation. So now since I have the pi bond over here, I'm sure you will agree that it has a pi, uh, you know, orbitals which are heading on this hydrogen. Okay, but the major aspect about this particular pi pi electron overlap is these particular pi bond a one pi bond which is residing between the two adjacent carbon atom and thus the pi overlap which is possible between these two. These two particular pi orbitals are in one plane. Whereas when you consider this particular uh, next carbon, uh, carbon, carbon double bond which is present and if you consider that particular, uh, you know, pi orbitals, you will observe that those pi orbitals being situated in this particular plane. So if you just try to figure out the plane in which these pi orbitals are present, these are different. So it is, uh, if you recollect, it is exactly similar to what we have discussed about the biphenyls. When we talk about biphenyls, we have the two aromatic rings which are joined by the central pivotal carbon-carbon bond. But yes, the rings are oriented in such a way that they are perpendicular to each other. And since you have this particular groups, let me just put it as A, B, C, D at the point of time. Okay. These four groups which you have present here, because of the steric hindrance, there is going to be, uh, you know, the pivotal bond will have a restriction around its central axis. And though you have such a kind of, though you see that it is going to be in one particular plane, it is not so in the actual reality. One is in a planar structure, one aromatic ring is planar, whereas other is perpendicular to it. And thus it has got a chiral axis passing through the uh, ring. And if you remember, we have discussed here, this is possible when A is not equal to B, C is not equal to B, However, A and C and A and C could be same or it could be different. Same exists with B and D. These are also
so here this is my proximal end proximal end has to be given 1 or 2 ame will win the priority this is 1 or 2 this is distal end it will win the priority and here i will have four okay then uh, next to that is where to put proximal and where to put distal okay so proximal will come on this particular solid line and when i am observing from here on my right hand side i will have ame so i will have my group one here i will have this is group two okay the topmost group the number four will come on top and the ethyl will go to down so now when i am connecting it it is coming in the anti clockwise fashion and the